Hey, tech savvy healthcare pros, are you tired of piles of paperwork and long patient wait times? Imagine a world where check ins are seamless, data entry is automated, and patient engagement is a breeze. Well, guess what? That world exists. Thanks to Freesha. Freesha is a game changer in patient intake software, streamlining the check in process while improving efficiency and compliance. From digital forms to insurance verification, this platform does it all, saving you time and keeping your practice running smoothly. In today's video, we will walk you through how Freesha works, its key features, and why it's a must-have from modern medical practices. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is visit the official website, which is going to be Freesha.com. On the top right corner, you have the option to log in using your credentials. Just provide all the information needed. But if you don't, you might want to go back to the homepage we're in. You can simply click the contact option form. If you have any questions about Freesha or click the request a demo, just provide all the information needed. And then click the submit button and one of the uh, Freesha sales support staff will contact you and reach out to you on how they can offer a tailored fit solution to your company or organization needs. But if you are not comfortable providing information as of now, you know, you just wanted to know more about Freesha without giving out any details, don't worry, we got you. First, go again, go back to the homepage. There's a section here that says how we help. Basically, these are for health systems, multi-specialty, children's hospital, CHCS, and FQHCS. All right, so these are the specialty from behavioral health until cardiology and urology. But if you want to find the, your specialty, just click this button right here. But we're going to focus on the how we help section. Why? Because for one, we're going to discuss the first section here that says streamline registration now freesha offers an automated and simplified patient check-ins that means you can have a digital pre-registration via mobile tablet or kiosk you have electronic insurance verification you see you can check in you can data capture you have the consent payments workflow management and analytics which in terms you can capture e-signatures for consent and forms reducing front desk workload and paperwork why it matters well for one it saves time and reduces wait times and improves data accuracy right so we're gonna go to the section that says simplify scheduling now you can make appointment booking easier and more efficient because you can now have an access to the self-service online scheduling for patients reminders online scheduling smart scheduling referrals workflow management and analytics all right that means you can have an automated appointment reminders via text or email reducing options to reduce no show it reduces phone calls and ensures smoother appointment flow there's a section here that says measure patient activation now you can track patient engagement and involvement in their care it identifies engaged versus disengaged patients it can help measure how well patients follow medical advice providing tools to encourage preventive care and follow-ups now in turn is that, that you can have an engaged patients lead to better health outcomes and increase loyalty we're gonna go to the section that says increase revenue the increase revenue basically optimizes payments and reimbursements a digital copay collection a check-in you have an automated billing reminders for outstanding balances and of course payment plans for patient affordability now in terms in the long run it reduces unpaid bills and improves cash flow for you right now the next section that we're going to discuss is the reduce call volume minimizes manual patient inquiries and administrative burden because you have now the online portals for self-service registration scheduling and payments you have an automated reminders and updates reducing the need for phone calls it's also ai driven at this point for chatbots like faqs 
to handle common questions. All right. Now, it frees up staff for more critical tasks and enhances patient convenience. Another section here that I wanted to emphasize is the drive growth. Because these sections can help you expand patient base and improve retention. You have an you have the option to the marketing tools like automated outreach and email campaigns, patient satisfaction surveys to improve service, data-driven insights to identify new revenue opportunities. In, in the long run, it helps clinics and hospitals attract and retain more patients. Now, there's going to be an option here that says Gain Insights. Gain Insights reduces the data analytics to optimize practice performance. You have a real-time reports on patient flow, revenue, and engagement. It identifies inefficiencies in registration, scheduling, and billing, helping in making data backed decisions for better operations. Why it matters? Well, for one, it improves efficiency and, of course, it enhances strategic planning. Next is going to be the close gap in care. So, this section ensures patients receive timeless screenings, checkups, and treatments. Reminds patients of missed vaccinations, screenings, or follow-ups, identifying at-risk patients, and encourages preventive care. Works with payers and providers to improve care coordination now why it matters well for one it leads to better patient health outcomes and fewer hospital readmissions now there's a section here that says collect patient reported data it's not as important as it is but the thing is it can gather direct feedback and health information from patients you can have like a somewhat digital surveys for symptom tracking medical history and patient experiences helping provider personalized care based on patient input it supports clinical research and quality improvement initiatives that means it enhances patient-centered care and regulatory compliance all right so now, we're going to go to the resources because these are some of the sections or hub that you can know more about Freesia. You have the blog, which is kind of like a like a, a good thing. If you wanted to read, you like to read, you might want to go here on the blog. They have the most updated blog for you to check out and gain more insights. Not only that, they also offer the ROI calculators. All right, so click this button to see real ROI with Freesia. But the thing is, you need to provide the information first, click on submit, and one of the uh, sales staff will contact you. They also have the PAM research library. All right, so these are some of the options that you can take or read more to gain more insights about Freesia. All right, so there's a lot. Now, going back to the homepage, basically, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again in the next one.